G'day, how's it going? Welcome to part two of my 100 days on the island. In this video, I play from days 51 to 100 and try to ascend to Scorched Earth. Go watch part one if you haven't already, like and subscribe, and let's get to it. Day 52, and I'm getting started on breeding straight away. If I want to beat Alpha Overseer, I'll need to stack some mutations on my Megatheriums and Therizinos. Initially, I have to combine all the best stats from the dinos I tamed, and then I can start a mutation line. I won't go too in depth with my breeding process, but if you want to learn how to stack mutations, I'll leave a link to Syntax's video. I know enough to get by, but he has truly mastered it. And here I'm breeding my bassies together, because I want a imprinted one to do the hard water cave. At the end of day 52, I decide to go and do the lava cave. Day 53, and I finally have a Bassy with the good stats. All I did was breeding this day, but I ended it off with making some more cryopods. Day 54, and I get my last imprint on my Bassy. I now have my Megatherium stats combined, so I can start breeding for mutations. I set the male up in the middle, and just surround him with females. Once I get a mutated male, I'll swap him out with the old one. I'm using the gestation monitor from the egg incubator, and with that I can check the stats before the baby is born. As you can see here, I do actually get a mutation, but I think it's in weight, so I don't keep it. All I'm looking for here is mutations in health and melee. It's pretty easy to spot. If you get a plus two level increase, it means you have a mutation. Then you just have to find the corresponding stat. If I got it in melee, the melee would go from 39 to 41. And I think the health was at 30, so it would jump to 32. I'm pretty sure triple mutations are possible, but I've never seen it. I end the day by getting this red drop with a semi-decent wreck saddle. Day 55, and I get my first mutation. As you can see, it's in melee. It's jumped up to 41 points. And I also have a green color mutation. So what I'll do now is let this male raise up, and then I'll swap him out with the old one. I then head into the hard water cave. I do this cave pretty slow and methodically, because I was really scared to die.
The underwater cave took me to the end of day 56. So I start breeding my UDs together, because I need two. One for boss fights, and one for some caving. On the morning of day 57, I finally have two UDs that have the good stats. I accidentally get of my Thylacolia here. I really wanted a Chibi, and I know that the S plus gun can make them, so I used it on my Thyla, and it got rid of it. But at least I have a pretty cute Chibi now. Day 58, and I'm back in the swap cave with Meg. I have an idea, and I want to test if it works. From this drop, I get some pretty nice loot. So my idea is to set up a foundation and a bed and a chest, and then fast travel every day or so to the swamp cave, do the cave, get the loot, dump it in the chest, rinse, repeat. And then by the end of the 50 days, I can grab all the loot and hopefully I've got some good stuff. So a couple of breeding days later, I go and test my newly found idea. I click on the bed to fast travel, And it works! So now I just do the cave, and then dump all the loot in the chest, and fast travel back. And I think the chests respawn every hour or so, so I'm just going to keep coming back whenever I remember. Here's the loot I got for my first run. Not bad, but not great. I'm sure people have thought of this before, but I'm just happy it works. Day 61, and this is my setup for breeding Therries for mutations. You just put all the eggs in and check the stats. As you can see here, I do get a mutation, but it's not in health or melee, so I don't need it. It takes me until day 63 to finally get a mutation on the Therries. Unfortunately, it's on a female, which I'm still going to use. It just means I have to put in some extra work to get it onto a male. Day 66 and 67, I grab the artifact of the pack and the artifact of the hunter. I would show more of these caves, but they were really easy and straightforward, so... Only two artifacts to go. Day 68, and I'm on a special mission. If I want to do Alpha Dragon, I have to kill two Gigas for their hearts. I already spotted one in part one, so I have to find her, kill her, and rip out her heart. Enemy spotted. Some of you might complain with the way I killed this Giga, but I'm sorry, I don't have time to be messing around. As you can see, I trapped it and used the Thyla. Every time the Thyla bites, it does 5% max health damage. So if you bite something 20 times, it will die no matter if it has a hundred health or a hundred thousand. It's obviously pretty broken, which is why it doesn't work on bosses, but it works just fine on Gigas. I just need to find one more Giga. Day 69 and I go into the easy ice cave, but this cave is far from easy. I was pretty much crapping my pants the whole time, and this cave is a labyrinth. It took me half an hour just to find the artifact. And not only that, but the first bat I can encounter gives me rates. Thanks. And then there's the spiders. You'd think being Australian, they wouldn't bother me, but no, I'm still terrified. Enclosed spaces and spiders, get me the heck out. I finally found the artifact. Thank goodness, I hate this cave. Day 70, and I do my usual swamp cave fast travel. I get a pretty sweet piece of ghillie. I then enter the red drop room. I open up the crate, and inside is a crazy good Ascendant Therizino saddle. This is make or break. If I hadn't have got this, there's no way I could do alpha. For the next five days, all I'm doing is farming hide, 
doing more breeding and farming hide. Those Therry saddles cost 16,000 hide per. So I've got to get, I think it was about 300,000 hide. That's a lot. On day 74, I went up to the mountain to go and do another metal run when I spotted another Giga. Yes. So once again, I trapped the Giga, pulled out my Thyla, and another easy kill. Day 75, and I'm going into the hard ice cave to get the final artifact of the run. I'm gonna use a Yudi for this whole cave. They can fear raw Perlovias out of their burrows, and they have a really good knockback. It took me about an hour to do the cave, but now I have the final artifact. Day 77, and I'm up to 5 mutations on the Therese, 3 in melee and 2 in HP. And then my Megatheriums have 3 in HP and 3 in melee. For the next 13 days, all I did was farm resources for saddles and breed my Megatheriums and Therizinos. It is now the final 10 days. I'm leveling up the last of my theories by killing baby rexes. They ended up getting about 10 mutations, 5 in melee and 5 in HP. And then I'd level them to about 21,000 health and 750 melee. I made some mind wipe tonics so I can put all my levels into crafting skill. So when I craft these Therry saddles, they should get a boost in their armor. These saddles were so unbelievably expensive, but definitely worth it. For the 19 saddles that I made, it cost 175,000 fiber, 300,000 hide, 60,000 metal, and 130,000 wood. The first boss I'm gonna do is the Alpha Dragon because this is the only one I'm scared of failing, and if I do, I'll have time to make a new army. Each Therry has 10 veggie cakes, which means a total of 5k healing. I'm gonna let this fight play out with my in-game reaction. Oh man, I'm so nervous. I'm freaking out!
Good damage, good damage. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, come on. Let's flipping go, dude. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, let's go. Oh, please, I gotta get these saddles. I actually flipping did it. I was so damn excited. I've never done this fight before and holy crap. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. When those first three theories died, I thought I was gonna get wiped out, but we managed to pull through. I had to frantically run around to try and get those saddles because they're just so damn expensive. But I couldn't find the last one. So I decided after letting my theories heal up a little bit, I'd go straight into Gamma Dragon to get that saddle. As you would expect, Gamma Dragon was no sweat. I did end up losing one Therry. His health was too low. I probably shouldn't have put him in. But I did get his saddle and the saddle I missed from the Alpha fight. So that's good. I hereby decree the Alpha Dragon has been slain. I spent all of day 91 killing Rexes with my Megatheriums to level them up for the Alpha Broodmother. I was a bit nervous about this fight just because the saddles of the Megatheriums were not great. I considered just using my Theries, but I thought that would be kind of lame. So on the dawn of day 92, me and the Sloths headed into the Spider's Cave. I had set the Megatheriums to two whistle groups. I did this so I could get behind her so the Megatheriums would completely surround her. It was a bit sloppy, but it kind of worked. Come on! She's so close! Only got left to two. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, boys! Let's go! 
Oh, it's so close. No way. No way, dude. Holy crap. I can't believe that happened. I'm shaking. Oh my gosh. And there you have it. Alpha Broodmother down. I don't know what else to say about this fight. It was so epic. And I can't believe it ended the way it did. But at the end of day 92, I jumped straight into the Megapithecus fight. Pretty easy. The Megapithecus is obviously the easiest of the three. The fight didn't even last two minutes, but that is all three alpha bosses done. Now it's time to prepare for the Tech Cave and the Overseer. First things first, I gotta make the Tech Replicator, which is uber expensive but I really want to have tech gear. And here she is. She's a big mama. I'm breeding up two new UDs for the final boss fight. One as a backup and one for me to ride. As you can see, my Rexes are blue now. I didn't intend to get mutations on them, but as I bred them, I got one HP and one melee mutation. So I thought I may as well use it. Plus, now they are a sick blue color. I'm bringing these Rexes in purely to deal with the Tech Cave Dinos. They're not going to be that helpful in the Overseer fight, but to clear the way of the Tech Cave, they're very useful. I'm making tons of shotgun ammo just in case. Obviously got to heal up my new Dinos. I also breed up some extra Theries. They won't have the good saddles because I just do not have time to grind them out but they'll be just good for some extra muscle. Day 95, and I'm in the ocean looking for alphas. And this happens. I know Batsies take damage at the bottom of the ocean, but it basically just insta-died. So yay, arc things. I'm able to get back fairly quickly with Speedy. I grab my gear, but I'm out of Bassy. Luckily I have a backup, but it's only half imprinted and it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. After that delay, I'm back in the ocean and now I can finally do what I tried to do at the start. And that is kill alphas. I completely forgot I need to kill an alpha Mosa, an alpha Tuso, and an Alpha League Sickthus. I find an Alpha League Sickthus pretty quickly, and it's an easy kill. I find another one shortly after, and I actually found a third one not long after this.
Day 96 and I finally found an Alpha Mosa. This guy took me ages to kill. I think it was about half an hour. He was a very tanky boy. Day 97 and I'm taking a break from the ocean. I'm gonna start getting my dinos set up to go into the tech cave. I've built a little platform and I'll have my dinos set in lines. I think everyone does this when they're doing the tech cave solo. So you will have seen it before, but they will all follow the one in front. Makes it much easier. I'm back in the ocean looking for an Alpha Tuso because the Alpha Tuso's eye is the only thing that's stopping me from doing the tech cave. After about 45 minutes, I found this big guy and I start taking him down. He's a lot less tanky than the Mosa, so after about 10 minutes, he finally goes down. With all the Tussos I killed, I've got more than enough Black Pearls to make everything that I want. I end up making a whole tech suit and a couple of rifles. I've got the whole suit, now it's time for some bling. Much better. Alpha Overseer, you're going down. All my dinos are in, and now it's time to run through the tech cave. Like I said earlier, I'm going to be using the Rexes to clear a path, and then I'll bring down the rest of the army, checkpoint by checkpoint. The tech helmet is really useful here. It'll highlight all dinos, and sometimes it'll pick up something that you missed. Wherever possible, I'm shooting dinos and leading them into lava. Just makes it easier and quicker that way.
So far, the tech cave has gone really well. My Rexes are more than strong enough to deal with the dinos, and I've had no issues until this point. The Yudi is just pushing my Rex further and further back, and I can't get away from it. So, as I'm getting closer to the lava, I'm starting to freak out. So I decide to jump off and make a run for it. My Rex goes in the lava and the Kanos follow it, but the UD's still up. It starts chasing me, but I've got the tech suit so I'm able to get away pretty easily. But when I come back down with another Rex, the UD had just plonked himself in the lava, so whatever. I've been waiting to spot my first Giga, and here is where I think I spotted my first Giga. So, as always, I shoot him and lead him into the lava. And then I spot this guy chilling in the wall. And I check this guy out and I realize that's the new dino. And he looks so sick. I don't know how powerful they are, but level 620, there's no way I'd want to mess with that. So I shoot the Giga to get him to fall into the lava and he just disappears into the wall. I go and check with K-Mode, and yeah, he's just straight up disappeared. Not that I'm complaining. Damn it. So I've cleared the hallway now, and I'm bringing my dinos down, and one of my theories accidentally falls off. But... For that whole tech cave, I lost one Rex and one Therry, so I'm honestly pretty happy with that. All up, it took me about an hour and a half to do this tech cave. So as you can see, I'm on day 101. Uh, yeah. Oops. And it switches to a super cold room, so I've got to change my gear over. I thought this teleporter pad was kind of small, but after I started teleporting, I realized it's the whole room. So, I'll note that for the future. The room that you teleport into was super cool. You can obviously tell that the Overseer has been watching our whole journey. And it has each of these little windows into each of the boss fights. Which again, is really cool. This looks like where they must make the dinos and send them down. And I think in the next one is where they must spawn the survivors. I've had a look a bit into the lore of Ark, and it's actually really interesting. But enough exploration, we've got a boss to take down. The final fight. Let's flipping get it. Grow is what I call sightseeing in the front row. Run it up when they hype me. The following grows, they know how to ignite me. Call me CEO, I've been running shit right. See, and I am playing games. I create my own lane, making pleasure out of pain. Uh, turning losses into gains. I'm the boss, I'm making change. I've been rocking this exchange. Uh, popping off and risking things. Gonna make a name. I just want to be famous. But I don't want that shit fame, no I'm not that vain I just wanna be greatness
I'm going off every chance I get I don't really take a loss, well, I'll admit That's why I'll make it to the top, yeah, I commit And no, I'm never getting lost, I get after it Investing in my own stock, cause it's faster than Any crypto hits go, let me spend Everything that you see is something I invent and it's only a percent I'm gonna take shots If I miss all, forget it I'll take a fat loss Just to learn all that's in it I'm taking snapshots Learning how to fall and get it I'm getting back up Always staying tall Don't sweat it I never back up I don't miss a thing I'll regret it I'm always learning You could call me academic I'm always working Never been apathetic That energy is like a poison Need some antiseptic <laughs> You know mother in this world Can do it like me Open up your eyes And insert a little rise in You don't have to love me You don't Cruising in my lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, nah, unlikely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me The following grows, they know how to ignite me Call me CEO, I've been running sh right, see And I ain't playing games, I create my own lane Making pleasure out of pain, uh Turning losses into gains, I'm the boss, I'm making change, I've been rocking this exchange, uh Popping off and risking things, gonna make a f***ing name, I just wanna be famous But I don't want that cheap fame, no I'm not that vain, I just wanna be greatness Take a loss, well, I'll admit That's why I'll make it to the top, yeah, I commit And no, I'm never getting lost, I get after it Investing in my own stock, cause it's faster than Any crypto hits go, let me spend Everything that you see is something I invent And it's only a percent, I'm gonna take Yes, let's go Yes, yes, yes uh, Get clapped Flipping go theories, you guys are beasts. Still pretty healthy. And it's over. A hundred days to beat the Alpha Overseer. We finally did it. Technically 101. Please forgive me. If you enjoyed part two, Please like and subscribe, hit that bell, because next up is Scorched Earth. And as always, have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one.